Hi beauties, welcome to my channel, HI Beauty by Yulia. I'm Yulia and I'm your virtual beauty therapist. It's not only that I like skincare, I have been doing skincare for the past 10 years. I've been working as a beauty therapist. So I do hope you like this channel. If you do so, please consider subscribing to it. Check out the videos, give them thumbs up, share them. Also, you can find me on Instagram where I publish a lot of different type of content. Uh, like product reviews, what bothers me, what excites me, giveaways that I'm participating but also I'm creating. So if this is something that you find interesting, you can find me on Instagram as well. Today we're gonna chat about retinol and this is a great ingredient and if you have almost any concern, people will suggest for you to try retinol but still it seems like a very difficult task and a lot of people give up because they have some kind of irritation. So this video is about retinol and how to start with retinol, how to pick your product, how to apply it and how to skip the part that your skin isn't very happy as much as it's possible. So retinol is not going to be, if you want to say, recognized by your skin. It has to be converted into retinoic acid and then your skin is going to benefit. And that's why if you have something like derivative, it gets too many times this type of transformation. So if you see something like 2% uh, retinol palmitate in your product, by the time when you get to the point that your skin should be benefiting, it's such a tiny little quantity that it won't really make such a huge difference. A lot of people are saying how uh, strong has to be your retinol product and how concentrated it has to be, but you do have to bear in mind the fact that concentration is a huge part, obviously. A lot of brands are not enclosing how much is the retinol inside, so you can't really notice, but in the same time, the whole formula is very, um, very important because you can have a slow release of the retinol if it is encapsulated, so your delivery system will be very important. What else is in the product? What is the rest of your skincare routine? What else did you apply on your skin before you get to the point of retinol and what will follow the retinol as well? if this makes sense. So it's not just we are looking for say 0.3% retinol because we are first time user because as I said if it is um, derivative then it won't be very useful. Now having troubles with your retinol product is actually very very common. I think around 15 to 20 percent of the people don't um, suffer from any type of side effects. So usually when we talk about side effects there's a um, some stinging in some cases, redness, burning, but probably the most common are dryness and flakiness of the skin. And it takes some time for your body to get used to these ingredients very often. However, you can layer it in a different manner, you can pick the right product and the chance of you having any big troubles is quite low. Well, I will actually apply my uh, a few different type of, of retinol products so that you see that this is not really necessarily the case. It depends how you apply them and obviously from your product. So the first one is actually for my eyes and this is from Rat. This is uh, their eye uh, retinol serum. So you apply this type of amount. That's all you need and you tap very gently. So with picking the product, there's a lot of things that you have to bear in mind. When you're using something like retinol, my suggestion will be to not use it, at least initially, with other actives. So say if you use something like alpha hydroxy acids in the form of a lotion or a serum and your retinol is a serum, don't use the, your um, say glycolic lotion and then your retinol serum because this is going to irritate your skin, especially in the beginning. So this is the Uteranual uh, Murad serum. I'm going to apply this one. Now with the eye serum and the moisturizer that I will apply later, I do have to say that um, these samples are the first time that I have been using them. However, with this serum, actually, I already went to one bottle of it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna apply on this side. 
when you apply vaginal you have to bear in mind that there are certain areas that you want to protect so especially initially you might consider to apply something like vaseline or at least something quite thick and occlusive on the area around the eyes obviously in my case I apply retinol product which is specifically for the eye area some of your uh, face products might say that they are okay to be used around the eyes but many of them are a bit too strong to use for this sensitive area also very often areas like around the lips even like this area over here on the top lip very often you will see that it's quite um, sensitive at least in my case I usually peel there so you might consider to apply something beforehand before your retinol there uh, very often the corners of the nose and actually like the tip especially if you had uh, cold or if something if you're very concerned about your product then you can actually use it as a mask although it says it's a leave-on product so you can apply it for say an hour the first time that you apply it two hours three hours and then wash it off if you do feel like there's some kind of irritation you can wash it off even quicker just to make sure that your skin is quite happy with it another way to uh, reduce the risk of any irritation is actually to mix your retinol with your product say your moisturizer or your serum and that way also you will be diluting it when you apply your retinol if it's on its own you do have to bear in mind that you try to spread it all over so don't put it in your hand and then apply it more it i think it will be much better if you just dot it all over and then rub it all over another thing that you can use is actually a moisturizer then your retinol and then your moisturizer it's like a sandwich technique and it is actually very common not just for this active but for any active in general because this is buffering your retinol so, this is the third product that i will apply and this is again by murat and it is their retinol cream so this one will go on my other cheek as for creating routine and how often you should be using retinol you can start with twice a week and that's it and you can build it i'll say for at least two evenings a week break i am aware that there's products which are saying that they're good for everyday use but i do think that your skin needs a break you have a cheat day if you're on a diet you have a break day if you go to gym so i do think that your skin also deserves a break day from your actives this is the last product that I'm going to use and this is the retinol and rainbow algae it has a very brownie texture so I'm going to apply it over here um, it is a very very well spread myth that retinol is going to make your skin more sensitive towards sun and more and more studies are actually coming up with the information that it's really not the case it doesn't work that way so because it is going to um, thin the um, surface layer of your skin because it is going to boost the production of new skin cells it is ingredient that you should definitely use with SPF 50 it's absolutely a hundred percent necessity also you have to bear in mind that yes if your skin is dry and flaky and red of course you will be more likely to burn uh, but this is a side effect it's not the reason that your skin is reacting badly towards the sun the ingredients itself it's just the initial adjustment period so it's quite normal as i mentioned retinol is unstable under uv so for what is worth you will be wasting also your product because it will be affected the whole efficiency of your product some brands might decide to use some derivatives which i said already i am not a fan of and they might be a bit more stable but as i said as they are transforming to your skin they're pretty much useless each one of them is around 70 pounds so they're quite pricey in my opinion and I did like them I did enjoy them 
and I if I have to pick one I have to say I like the most the eye serum because it is gentle enough on my eyes and I can see definitely some brightening and reduction of the fine lines another um, a bit more uh, on the privacy side product is actually the retinol serum from Kiehl's and I have mentioned it before now this one was around 50 60 pounds but I do like it and I was quite surprised I think it's quite gentle and it's very light and pleasant it has creamy texture uh, but it is light enough and I do think you can absolutely use it even if your skin is oily and it has a lot of great ingredients inside as well the inky leaves as for the retinol itself into this product uh, it actually contains 1% Reni Star which is their variation of uh, stable uh, retinol but also it contains uh, gran active uh, retinoid and this is quite trendy retinol you will see it in the ordinary products as well they have just this type of uh, retinol if you want or you can have the normal retinol now this is a new version of retinol it's very specific because unlike everything else it doesn't have to be transformed into our body in order to be beneficial so it seems to be very efficient and very non-irritating but as it is a newer ingredient we still don't know with certainty and also a lot of the studies are from the industry so companies which are selling this type of uh, gran active retinoids products are actually paying for sponsoring <laughs> this type of studies that are proving yes if you add this into your product it's great so it might be a bit biased we still don't know with certainty but by all means it seems to be great and a very promising type of ingredient but yes the inky list actually their retinol serum has two different types of retinol inside the Ordinary has a few types of retinol into their whole range. They have pure retinol in squalane, which if you look at their website, they're highly, highly recommending you not to use, but to consider using their gran active retinoids instead because they are much less irritating. If you're a beginner, I think the 2% uh, solution will be quite great and I do think that the emulsions are better so if I have to pick one product for a newbie from The Ordinary I will probably go with the 2% uh, Gran Active uh, Retinoid or you can try something like 0.2% Retinol in Squalane surely the last product will be this one with this product it is almost like lotion as type of texture so it is very very light I can hear it lunging. It has a uh, retinol. It is a slow release retinol and it's uh, I think 0.2% only. So it's a very small amount of retinol. This one actually also has tranexamic acid, which is a good great ingredient. And I think it's 2% into this product. Absolutely amazing when we are talking about any type of pigmentation and it is non-irritating ingredient it is not exfoliating acid although it sounds like and uh, this is definitely something that i like to apply and it has algae algae i like algae in my skincare now this specific type of uh, rainbow algae um i'm not really sure how great it is from point of view of brightening because this is one of the advertisement because the brightening properties are shown from the brand that is selling this ingredient so I'm a bit like so so but in general algae are great humectants they retain water so they work great they are not irritating ingredients so to have active like retinol with something like tranexamic acid and algae which are more soothing and hydrating and work for pigmentation in our case is actually quite clever and great idea and this is the inside of your box they are very very much talking about sustainability about their carbon footprint uh, the packaging the sourcing of their ingredients everything is quite transparent into those one uh, but i do have to say that this product is around 30 pounds so this is once again 
three times the price of the ink list and the ordinary. If you're new to but you know you already have the knowledge and the product suggestions that you can start looking after your skin even better and improve more its condition thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up share it and consider subscribing to the channel find me in instagram as well and i hope i'll see you next week bye bye